Good morning, this is Woodsy's Woodshop. My name's Andrew and I'm uh, on my journey, my woodworking journey, and you're coming with me. And this is uh, Three Legged Stool, video three. Okay, um, now, update since the last video, since part two, if you haven't seen it, go and see it. Um, in the meantime, between the videos, I have tuned up my spoke shave. So what I've done, hopefully you can see that, I have uh, sanded the bottom to make it flat because it was very lumpy. I think this is a very cheap, well I know it was cheap, but I think because it was cheap it's a bit rubbish. Because uh, it was very lumpy and bumpy on the bottom there. So I've uh, sanded that down so uh, it's flat and I've also straightened the edge there where the blade goes because that was also lumpy and bumpy, causing problems. The blade itself, when I first shaped these legs, it's a better one. when I first did this leg shaping, maybe you can see, it's very rough because I did it with this spoke shave, um, but I kind of ruined the blade as well. I took huge, well not huge, but you know, nicks and dinks in the blade. So I tuned up the blade. So I spent a lot of time sharpening the blade on my wet stones, which I have over there. Um, so I sharpened it up, it's difficult because the blade's so so small, so I can't put it in my little device here which you use to get the angle right, and then you can, you know, does all that. I can't do that, so I had to hold it in my fingers. Now, top tip, I was using wet stones, they're very um, finely abrasive. I had my thumbs under, and I was going like this, and I was rubbing my thumbs on the wet stones. And I didn't notice at the time, but I was, wet stoning my thumbnails away. Luckily I'd stopped before it became a real problem, but this one's not so bad. That one, that's nearly an injury, but also the tops of my fingers I was filing away with my wet stones. I mean, what an idiot. But I, because it's so finely abrasive, you don't, it feels smooth and you don't notice it happening. So top tip everyone, don't file away your fingers. Okay, I didn't even notice at the time, and then it was only when I was using my spoke shave. I thought, Where's that blood coming from? And it was my fingers. And then I know, and it wasn't until I went in I noticed my thumb. Anyway, confession time now. Uh, I'm sorry that I've done this, but when I tuned up my spoke shave, you know, sounded it, I thought I'd just give it a quick go. So I put one of my legs in the vise, and I just give it a quick go. And you know what? It was so fantastic, I couldn't stop. And so last night, or yesterday afternoon, when I wasn't videoing, I actually shaped up these two legs. Okay, now I know that they are different shapes, but I don't think that really matters. They're nearly the same. And that's good enough for me. It's not about making them the same, it's about, it's about just making a, a, a stool. Anyway, they're really smooth, just from the work I did with the spoke shave. That is a really nice finish. I mean, it's not nicely rounded because you're taking off a straight bit every time, but, oh, oh, I don't know if you can appreciate just how wonderfully smooth they are and how craply I'd set this up before to make it do really rough, horrible bits like that. So I did too, and I thought I've got to stop, but I was having so much fun with it. Anyway. So here we go. Now I was thinking maybe I can get you a bit nearer, but I don't know. I think this will be all right. Let's just go like that. Put that in there, look. And now, hopefully, now I haven't touched it since yesterday, so hopefully it's still good. It's just taking off, now is that, that's a problem. It's just taking off really, I mean, look, that's just so smooth now. It's taking off really nice shavings. It's not like <coughs> making horrible noise like it was before. And this is my last leg. And I can see where the bulges are. And I think this is what a, working with a spoke shave is supposed to be like. I mean, even that's quite a thick shaving. I could, I could tune it back a bit, but I think it's okay just for me, just doing these stool legs. So even dealing with that knot, being a bit more careful with it because 
I did, you know, put skin and bone into this into this blade, so I'm being a bit more careful with it now. Anyway, let's have a little go on this leg. See what we can get it looking like. All those rough bits just come out, look. You can take quite big, I mean, it's still quite thick, that shaving, but. So much nicer now to work with. Right to the end. I mean, look, maybe you can't see that, but that's turning really a rough piece of wood into a really nice. And hopefully, you can, well, you can hear the difference. It's, it's making a nice, like a plain sound rather than a sound which is what it was doing before. I blame myself, I'm not blaming the spoke chain, although well, maybe I should because I did have to tune it up because it was a bit crap. Anyway. That's all right for that bit, look, look at that. I mean it's a bit rough around there but that's because of the knot. I don't want to spend too much time trying to sort that knot out. <laughs> To your leg and who doesn't appreciate a nicely shaped leg bit there. It's all right, it's all part of the character. My That's so good, that's so good. I mean I could do a bit more there but I'm not going to. Can you see the difference? If I get it to catch the light, there's the bit I've done, and, and then there's the bit I haven't done. Look at that roughness there. It's all gonna go, it's all gonna go now. You can really feel the bumps as well. One there, for example.
still see a slight mark from the saw there. doing the very end though, I don't know, maybe that's my technique. That's nice. That's nice. Ooh, <laughs> I may have gone a bit far under there, but it was bulging up. But that's all right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not fussed about making a, all these legs identical. And a good job. A good job I'm not. But um, just take. I've made a bit of a, a bit of an edge there, so I'm just going to round that off a bit. Do this end, the fat end. Oof, look at that there, that's nasty. Character, that's what that is. Taking all those edges off. Teary outy there. Maybe if I go the other way. Ah, look at that. I'm spoke shaving all directions now. Okay, just got to do a little bit more there. Ooh, it's 
do don't want to go that way. Nice, nice, nice. There we are. It's a nice sound, isn't it? That's like cricket stumps. That's what that reminds me of. There we go. Three legs. All uh, similar lengths. <laughs> um, okay, so next step then, I guess, is fitting the tops into these here holes. I might be able to do a bit better on here with my fantastic spoke shape, but I'll do that off camera. That's just reshaping that a little bit. But anyway, let's get these in. Now they've got a straight edge, and then a, so I think the straight edge goes in. Okay, so I mean, this one, for example, we're nowhere near. So I've got to take off a bit more of that. So how do I do that? Because the spoke shape doesn't like going off the end. I've noticed. I'm going to follow my original pencil lines, which are here. I suppose I should do. Yeah, so um, taking too long with the sandpaper, so I am going back to the spoke shave and just taking off material with that. You just got to be quite firm with it, I've discovered. get very fat very quickly there so right I think I'm in yeah got to take off quite a lot of material You can see you can see how far down it's getting so you can see where I've got to take off material so I don't need to take any off the end anymore which is good because I don't like taking it off the end Sorry. 
break it back to you. More work to do. That was me. I was worried I would make these tops of these legs too thin. Not a bit of it, mate. It was far too fat. <sighs> Trouble is, I might have made that bit top bit too small now, but um, never mind. Sided. Sorry, I get to take a bit off this side to avoid it being lopsided.
Oh. We're close, we're close. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, it's gone all the way down to there now. Maybe I'll reposition you. If you want to get down here a bit. Get out of the way, rope. I've got a bit of rope there. How's that? Ooh. Come on, clamp. Um. Stop. Yeah, I think that might be a better position for you. You might be it might be seeing a lot of the top of my head. Not yet. Close. It's just there. Oh, I can't get it off. Oh. How do we do? Just all around. Sorry. Actually, we go in that way. Whoa, can you see it? That's the outer bit. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Not there yet. And look, I've got a bit of a gap. I've got to go deep, deep, deep. There we go. Uh, more. I've got to take more off. Do you know what I'm thinking? Obviously, um, I'll do the other two on 
time lapse. But I want to get this one done <clears throat> with you guys watching. If I ever do get a viewer. Quite a lengthy process. You wouldn't be able to make a profit doing these stools, do you? Unless you charge a thousand pounds for a rickety old wooden stool. <laughs> I assume you'd have to get better at it. If you are actually find a way to make do this quicker if you're a stool maker I mean, I'm liking the get it out and do it properly thing that you know I think that's going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a slit down there and then that'll spread it out and that'll really be jammed in there. But no, <laughs> happy with that. Look at that bad boy. I mean, oh, huh? Sitting on the stool. All right, let's go time lapse for the other two. I won't subject you to this anymore. moment of truth. Quick slurp on the tea. So leg three is in. Leg one going in there. And leg two going in there. made a stool. I was going to put bits in between. Do you think, oh I wish I had some viewers so I could get some advice. Do you think I need to put bits in between here? I mean when I, I feel like I should but when I put it all together it's rock solid. Wow, well, it's not that's not rock solid. But it's not even glued in yet. That's just wedged.
I think that's bloody brilliant. Ah, right, what's remaining? If I cut a slit in the top of each one, and then I can jam a bit of wood down there just to splay that top out. I mean, that'll really, really get it in there. I think I am ready to put them in. I mean, it's not bad, even with, it's not, it's not uncomfortable, even with those knobbly bits sticking out. I can see it quite happily for quite a while. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Look how brilliant that is. And it's the legs aren't in the right place. Um, and I've had some issues and everything. But, mate, that's. Uh, <laughs> that is a functional stool. This is for the, um, what do you call it? The thumbnail on the video? Woody's made a stool. Right, it's just sort of tidying up and stuff now, which I don't think I'm gonna do now. I might do that in part four, finishing. I'll do a part four, finishing the stool. Um, so yeah, part three is over. We have an actual three-legged stool and I am so chuffed. Because <laughs> now, look, I can do this and uh, just perch on the edge and do all my work, do all my hobbies and things. I can sit here and talk to you lot. Well, I say you lot, I haven't got any viewers yet, but um, maybe one day we'll have a, have a Q and A, can't we? You can send in your questions and then I can answer them. sat on my stool that I have made myself. All right, thank you for watching. If you have been, uh, this is Woodsy checking out uh, another successful day in the, uh, in the wood shop. Bye bye.